Well, Derek, a uh, tough fight against a tough guy. You get the win. How did you feel about your performance tonight? Uh, I felt good, you know. Uh, he, he was a little quicker than I thought he would be, you know. I kind of knew he stayed busy from the outside and looked to explode in. But, uh, yeah, he was able to put together some good strikes. Tell me what it's like to get into a fight and within 10 seconds you've been kicked in the head, but you were all right, you survived, but you're in trouble 10 seconds in, you still got a long way to go in that first round. What is that like? Yeah, that was definitely weird. I was like, man, what, what is going on, you know? I need to be on a little bit more alert out there, so definitely kind of woke me up early. Uh, you made a, a re not, not, be not just before this fight, but just recently, you made a switch in camps. Tell us what, what we should be looking for in these fights. Where did, or something that, that we should see in this fight that is evidence of what some changes you've made since changing camps? Yeah, with, with my new camp, uh, every round uh, at Hard Knocks feel like the third round, the second round, first round in there. You know, everybody's coming to get me, you know, uh, guys that are not quite there, guys that are journeymen, but they're able to give you those tough rounds and, you know, they might save their energy just for me, you know, to make sure they give me the best round. So I've been getting a lot of those rounds. So that was one of the things that helped me uh, persevere after being caught with a kick in the first round. What's the biggest difference for you just in terms of maybe it's a way you train, maybe it's a mindset that you have? I mean, you sort of, you're a veteran in this sport now. You're a veteran of the UFC. You've had your highs, you've had your lows, you've main, you main evented cards, big wins, big losses. Where are you at? Just what is the biggest change with you of maybe 10 years ago? Just, just being more appreciative, you know, uh, appreciate my family, appreciate what they do for me, you know, uh, getting away from them to, to not be so comfortable in my own house and uh, going away to, you know, Florida for like four or five weeks just to sacrifice so I'd be ready for these big moments so to help me prepare to take care of them even better, you know. So it's just that maturity that helped my game and, and a great camp also. What is that like when you, when you reach the age of 35 years old but you're leaving home and what are you doing? How, like what are your living situations down in Florida and you, you feel like you're kind of stepping back in time sometimes? Yeah, man, it's tough, you know. No, um, it worked out super perfect because my daughters are on summer right now. So my camp was all summer long. So they can go to their grandmother's house and hang out. Uh, their grandmother, um, everybody helped support me a lot, you know. So being able to have that and them not be in school, I don't feel guilty going away. I'm like, okay, they're on summer vacation. They're spending time with their grandparents. You know, during the school year, I feel a little guilty. I'm like, man, if their grades suffer or if they're not getting their reading done, I feel like that's, that's on me because, you know, I'm away, you know, making sacrifices. But, you know, I just kind of feel a little guilty. Well, now you're back on a win streak, and you have fought the best of the best in this division already. Who is the name out there? If you have your pick, if Dana White came to you tonight and said, all right, Derek, you get to pick. Who you get next? What's the name? I don't know. They got a lot of good fights going on, so I'm going to sit back and watch, uh, see who wins these fights, and I'm going to go from there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app, and for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+.